Assalamu alaikum you are watching mlt mcqs i am kamran the topic of today's mcqs is macrocytic normochromic anemia and we will talk about 10 best mcqs so let's start the mcqs our mcq number 1 is which morphological classification is characteristic of megaloblastic anemia which morphological classification is characteristic of megaloblastic anemia options are normocytic normochromic microcytic normochromic macrocytic hypochromic macrocytic normochromic and the right answer for this mcq is option number 4 macrocytic normochromic mcq number 2 is which anemia is characterized by a lack of intrinsic factor that prevents b12 absorption options are tropical sprue transcobalamin deficiency blind loop syndrome or pernicious anemia and the right answer for this mcq is option number 4 pernicious anemia mcq number 3 is all of the following are characteristics of megaloblastic anemia except all of the following are characteristics of megaloblastic anemia except pancytopenia elevated reticulocyte count hypersegmented neutrophils or macrocytic erythrocyte indices and the right answer for this mcq is option number 2 elevated reticulocyte count mcq number 4 is a patient with a vitamin b12 anemia is given a high dosage of folate which of the following is expected as a result of this treatment options are an improvement in neurological problem an improvement in hematological abnormalities no expected improvement toxicity of the liver and kidneys will happen and the right answer for this mcq is option number 2 an improvement in hematological abnormalities will occur after a high dosage of folate mcq number 5 is which of the following disorders is associated with ineffective erythropoiesis options are g6pd deficiency liver disease hemoglobin c disease megaloblastic anemia and the right answer for the same cq is option number 4 megaloblastic anemia mcq number 6 is a 50 year old patient is suffering from pernicious anemia which of the following laboratory data are most likely for this patient options are rbc count will be 2.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 12 per liter wbc will be 12500 per microliter platelet count will be 2 lakh 50000 per microliter or rbc count will be 4.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 12 per liter wbc count will be 6500 per microliter and platelet count will be 1 lakh 50000 per microliter or rbc will be 3.0 multiplied by 10 raised to power 12 per liter wbc count will be 5000 per microliter platelet count will be 7 lakh 50000 per microliter or rbc count will be 2.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 12 per liter wbc count will be 2500 per microliter and platelet count will be 50000 per microliter and the right answer for this mcq is option number 4 all three basic parameters will be low will be down in patient with pernicious anemia whose age is 50 year so rbc count will be 2.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 12 per liter wbc count will be 2500 per microliter and platelet count will be 50000 per microliter mcq number 7 is which of the following may be seen in the peripheral blood smear of a patient with obstructive liver disease options are schistocytes will be seen macrocytes will be seen 
whole jolly bodies will be seen or microcytes will be seen and the right answer for this mcq is option number 2 the macrocytes will be seen in blood smear of a patient with obstructive liver disease mcq number 8 is which of the following are most characteristic of the red cell indices associated with megaloblastic anemias options are mcv will be 99 femtoliter mch will be 28 picogram mchc will be 31 percent mcv will be 62 femtoliter mch will be 27 picogram and mchc will be 30 percent mcv will be 125 femtoliter mch will be 36 picogram mch will be 34 percent or mcv will be 78 femtoliter mch will be 23 picogram mchc will be 30 percent and the right answer for this mcq is option number 3 mcv will be 125 femtoliter mch will be 36 picogram and mchc will be 34 patient and this these findings are the most characteristic of the red cell indices associated with megaloblastic anemias mcq number 9 is the macrocyte typically seen in megaloblastic process are so what are the shape or what is the shape of that microcyte or macrocytes typically seen in megaloblastic process options are it will be like crescent shaped teardrop shaped ovalocytic or pencil shaped and the right answer for this mcq is option number 3 ovalocytic the last mcq is a patient has 80 nucleated red blood cells per 100 leukocytes in addition to increased polychromasia on the peripheral smear what other findings may be present on the cbc options are increased platelet increased mcv increased hematocrit increased red blood cell count and the right answer for this mcq is option number 2 the mcv will be increased thank you so much dear students for watching mlt mcqs if you have found this video useful please like this video and share it with your friends take good care of yourself allah hafiz